Nothing's there. Hey, we're here. Welcome to Modern Art Blitz. This is part three of episode 52. You've seen Hudley Flipside. You've seen Ted Meyer. And now, do I call you Museum of Fred? Can I call you Fred Bashid? Uh, what do for I call Fred, Fred Bashid. Fred Bashid of Museum, Museum of, of Fred. Fred. Yeah. I think Museum of Fred is more popular and more famous than I am. So you're you now, but it all came from you. That's true. So, uh, what now let's be really clear first and foremost almost everybody on modern art blitz when we show the art floating behind us it is made by them it is their essence they're trying to get something out there communicate with the world you know they're not sketching with their eyes closed okay but you on the other hand have compiled tell us so this is uh, museum of fred is my collection of thrift store paintings so it's um almost exclusively anonymous work by unknown artists. You never threw one so. in of your own? Like, hey, <laughs> no. the, art, the artist ego never just said, I got to put a painting in this show. No, no? I, don't, I don't think I want to be uh, part of that collection. So where, well, before we get to where, when did you begin buying thrift store paintings? Probably when I started at uh, art school. So it's been a few decades. Oh, dear. Um, the older we get, the less we want to talk was about it. <laughs> <laughs> When, so, now, now, how many <clears throat> thrift store paintings do you own? Probably over a thousand at this are they, point. And all, are so. they all documented on Museum of Fred? No, there's... Um, you have a website. The, yeah, the website's Museum, Museum of Fred. Museumoffred.com, yeah. So there's, I think, 300 images on that, wow. on the site. So and that, you that own was plenty. over a thousand? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and do, you, do you tour the work? Um, no, it's mostly stored up. I recently did a... Um, an Im uh, curated a show of portraits. That's what these images are from. Oh, the images so, today are from the, the show of portraits. Yeah. And correct. so we're looking at Gainsborough, an attempt to so. imitate Gainsborough's <laughs> blue book. It looks like, well, it's certain, in, in defense of the artist, boy, here I am trying to be nice. <laughs> in defense of the artist, uh, it's, unfi it's unfinished. Correct. If they, we could have critiqued it a little well, more thoroughly. But that's a mystery, because when I bought this painting, it was framed. So presumably wow. it was completed and wow. hung up in someone's house. But okay, yeah, now, now have uh, you ever seen like a signature and tracked a person down? No, um, there, there have been some, some paintings that um, looked valuable and I had had them appraised and sold them. So it's kind of financed the rest of oh, really? the so, rest so of the operation. Whose, so. whose artwork would, would I know? Um, Are there any household no, names? No, no, they're but, but like, just, um, yeah, just. But who bought um, them then? Um, I have a friend who's, um, who, who sells American paintings auction. Okay. Um, and they just Moran. had some historical value that made it worth, yeah. worth something to a Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, they're like a collector, a thousand or a couple thousand dollars. Okay. So, and then I you mean, turn around and go back like, to the thrift store. Give back to the thrift store. And you never yeah. go, ha, ha, ha. Now, has the price of paintings at thrift stores gone up over the years? Astronomically. Really? Why? Yeah. Um, there's a lot more collectors. And then when, uh -huh. you, when eBay came along, um, there were a lot more collectors and there's, you know, a lot more pickers at the thrift stores. And so I hardly shop anymore because even when I do find a painting, they're, you know, 50 or a hundred dollars. Difficult to find. So, and, and how much, like how much yeah, did you get so this one for? It was probably $3. Oh. So oh, we're right. talking about, you know, $5 paintings, um, $10. Okay. Yeah. And so, I mean, between like, you know, what I'm doing and Jim Shaw and, you know, all these The artist Jim Shaw collects thrift store paintings. Yes. And so he has... So just between the two of you, you got... Yeah. yeah. We have the market cornered. Okay. I mean, you got more... You, <laughs> so, you own more artwork than the Count Ponza collection, right? You know, yours is just as a minimalism that you have to put up in yeah. a castle in Italy. Yeah. So, so uh, now, do you have any idea on the years? Like, what year the painting is? Is there a way to date them? No, this... this um, these uh, portraits right here were from a... Um, an amateur art show that was done in 67. And I, I found that out because on the, on the back, there's a tag from the art show. And okay, so I was able, able to, to, to Google it and found it, yeah. Okay, and you and don't know so, who the artist is, of course. No, his, his name was, they're signed Daniels, but I don't. Daniels, that could um, be, it could it, be a woman yeah. Daniels too, not just a guy be, named yeah, Daniel, it's, right? They're E. Daniels, so. Um, e. e. Daniels you know, could be anything. So, I mean, this, this, uh, this particular artist, I mean, seemed particularly skilled, so they must have had some training. So I figured I could find something on, but I couldn't. No. Um, well, not everybody who goes to art school gets on Google. 
<laughs> what uh, so. now? And, and so you okay? So we know this is like the mid '60s, and these are mid '60s celebrities, right? Right. Yeah. You know? It's interesting too when you look back at the uh, just just kind of as an aside, but something you could maybe learn from thrift store paintings. You notice when we think of the '60s, 1967, what do we think of? The Beatles, Jimi Hendrix, Summer of Love. But here's to to this artist, it was still the 1950s, yeah. pretty much. These yeah. are the we're, yeah. we see illustrated here the values of the 1950s, yeah. right? We got yeah. is it Cary Grant? Who's yeah. who's a, a no, that's, uh, that's Jack Florida. Lemon, Debbie Reynolds, uh, Jimmy Stewart, and Yul Brenner. Yul Brenner, Yul Brenner's yeah. looking a little Trump esque yeah. there. I don't know. Maybe yeah, so I mean, you think about like you know the Vietnam War is escalating. Uh, we have um, the whole civil rights movement. I mean, there's a lot of chaos at the time. You know, it's '67, and this person's you know just home. very comfortable <laughs> making some movie sport. stars. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, um, but I, I guess you know it's it's interesting how history records versus. I mean, that that's, is the value of art in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and yeah. what's the oldest uh, thrift store paint? Not the oldest uh, di that you've been able to date. Um, there's back. there's one I have that's over a hundred years old. Oh really? Um, yeah. So there's early, some really early twentieth century. Yeah. Now, like now, a, do you ever get things that are, people are trying to be like cubist, or is it always like this kind of attempt at realism yeah. or no, expressionism, it, or what? There's, there's some that are. I mean, you can tell they were done by art students that were assignments. So. Oh yeah. They were, um, the same assignment over and over again, right? They, yeah. <laughs> they went straight to the thrift store. Yeah. Um, After they got kicked out of art so, school, right? Exactly. Yeah. Now, they're done with that. Is there something about the amateur nature that is appealing? I, my, my, my trepidation about thrift store painting is the sense that some artists who have been involved in using these um, these uh, styles is a bit of there's almost a mockery there you know like you're mocking like and you're, and you're picking on the losers like you're punching down like hey I'm, I have good taste in art and I know this is bad I mean is there is there any of that going on here you kind of like well is there, I mean is there a celebration or a, or a, for me yeah. or for oh well, I don't know what they're thinking but for me I like amateur work because it shows it shows the struggle that you that you go through to become a professional so I think it's I, I'm really glad I own that um, copy of uh, Blue Boy because when you look at Blue Boy, I mean, it's, you look at it and it's just effortless. I mean, you know, Tom Gainsborough was a master and you look at that, it's totally effortless. You don't see any of the effort that went into creating that. Mm -hmm. But to, with this Blue Boy, you see the struggle. You just see how terrible <laughs> most people you get. You see how difficult it is. So, so what you're saying, so, so you actually like great art and you're reminded how great it is. Because yeah. you see Blue Boy reproduced, yeah. it's like, yeah, yawn, it's Blue Boy. Yeah. Who cares? But you're saying, yeah. after, after two minutes with your Blue Boy, Gainsborough's looking great again. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that's at the Huntington. But, you can just go to, you yeah. drive down to the Huntington any day of the week and yes. see and see uh, Blue Boy there and Pinky. And Pinky. And his, his yeah. girlfriend. <laughs> Pinky Tuscadero. So, hey, so now this is the installation? Yeah. So there's an uh, installation view of, of the show. Oh, you got, um, you got George Washington. Yeah. So there's uh, Did that's... he sit for that painting? Any <laughs> chance? No? <laughs> So that's, a, that's a, um, the George Washington's um, Athenaeum painting that uh, Gilbert Stewart painted in the late 1700s, just before uh, uh, George Washington died. And so that probably looks familiar because that was the image that was used on the $1 bill. Ah. So that's, that's an anonymous portrait. Somebody but do you get a lot of that. historical paintings like that, like, like trying to re, re, redo um, the masters? Or not not a lot. Or the originals? Not a lot. Yeah. Um, they, a lot most of the portraits um, seem like that they had some kind of personal some connection, like, kid, like a grandma's grandma. painting okay. their kids, okay. their okay. grandkids. Paint mom, it just <laughs> doesn't come out well, and I'll send that to the thrift store, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So, so, and it's only sentimental to the person who painted it. When right. It's, when it's that. Yeah. And so, for, for us, it's a formal yeah. art study of what not to do. Right. Exactly. So, I think that what happens for a lot of amateur artists is that they retire and then they start painting and they have this whole body of work and then they pass away and it goes to the, the thrift kids store inherit it and, and it goes to Goodwill. And then, unfortunately for them, it becomes part of Museum of Fred. Unfortunately, I would think that's fortunate. You've, you've kept the work. Know. It's alive. I don't know. I guess no? so. That's what I'd like yeah. to think. There's a lot of like quote unquote the, good art, right? <laughs> that, that might not have made it, right? <laughs> Yeah, Have you ever said, true. this is too good to be in the Museum of Fred? Yeah, those are usually the ones that get sold. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. so, so you, write a, you, you get the eye. Yeah, because my, my goal, and you know, all, all of my creative work is to kind of expand, expand the boundaries. Of it. So, like, so Museum of Fred is expanding the boundaries of the art world to include amateur work, yes. stuff you wouldn't. So, I mean, if it's something that's done professionally, just you can see that at any museum. You don't need to go to the Museum okay, of Fred. Okay, what would you... You've been around, most of this was from Los Angeles, right? Southern California. Yeah, thrift Pasadena stores. and LA. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. where, where in Southern California was the best thrift stores for thrift store painting back in the um, day? Back in the day, I went to Pasadena City College, and before Old Town was gentrified, those were all thrift stores. Ah. 
and since Pasadena was such an old city, there were a lot of things ending up in thrift stores. So a lot of the best pieces came from So we're kind of, there, 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 there could be a survey of Pasadena culture. Yeah, like sub, definitely, yeah. A subset. Yeah. But again, you don't know who these people are. You don't know no, I don't know anything, are. yeah. I don't and you've never had anybody go, oh my God, that looks like that's my, my, that's my, my grandpa painted, <laughs> yeah. and painted like that. You never had that happen. No, but I heard that that happened to Jim Shaw. Oh no. Yeah, that somebody he recognized their painting. No, it was interesting. I think it was somebody gifted it to someone else, and they gave it to the thrift store, and then Jim bought it, and Ooh, then and then they, I think they saw it in his book. Now you know, you know, I've actually <laughs> seen, and I will not name names, as tempted as I am, I've actually seen artists I know, like artists yeah. from art school educations, making edgy contemporary art, and I've yeah. seen their stuff at yeah, thrift stores. I've, and I've always wanted to buy it, but it's all of a sudden it's like you know, it was a three thousand dollar <laughs> painting at such and such gallery, which was trendy. 15 years ago, 10 years ago, and now it's at the thrift store and it's $50 and it's like, eh, I'm in a thrift store, 50 bucks is way too much, right? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of yeah. tragic. Yeah, I, I have work like that. Oh yeah? Yeah, the people I know. Like people you use? People I know personally, yeah. Now, do they know that you, you No, say, hey, I dude, can't I say, I can't say Do you say, say I, bought, I just bought no. your painting somewhere? Or do you just not tell them? <laughs> no, I don't tell them. So that's the collection of Fred, not the museum of Fred. <laughs> yeah, that's right? not on the site. Yeah. Once it has that modernist kind of postmodern <laughs> yeah, and that's the, yeah. consciousness, yeah. it's not a thrift store painting. Yeah, it just kind of doesn't fit. You gotta have that classic. Now, yeah. now, what percentage of thrift store paintings would you say are intentionally trying to be surreal, as opposed to most of them intentionally? End up surreal? I don't think any of them are. Okay, so so, but, so you really yeah, like that blue boy is just totally surreal, but I don't think that you aspire you you so. you want art that aspires to the unintentional surrealism. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't realize how surreal they were. Yeah. Being. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. some of the surreal stuff I have is just really disturbing, and I won't put it on the site either. Oh really? Because it's a lot of teachers um, use the site oh, to so teach you're, students. Okay, so you want to you want to keep the site traffic up and I'm and trying to keep it like news? no, not site traffic, but uh, you know a lot Murders? of a lot what? of <laughs> yeah. You just, could have brought it on modern art blitz. I don't know. <laughs> the, you know yeah, I'll, I'll come back again and show the weird some, stuff. Some ed, the edgy or something. Yeah, no, a lot of um, you know people you know write to me from all over the world, and and um, one thing that people like is that if, um, our, our um, people that like it are teachers because they can show their students amateur art because what happens is, is that students get discouraged on the way you know, it becomes, because they see, you know, they want to be an artist, they want to be, you know, a master painter, but they don't realize you have to go through all this work. And so, we, you know, we don't see amateur work, you know, like we, we go to the museum and we see, you know, masterpieces. So, so we don't see that. you're kind of rooting that. them on. Come yeah. on, guys, yeah. come so, on, don't worry. This was, yeah. this, right here, that was a Van Gogh. Look so, how Van Gogh, and Van Gogh got better. Oh man, look, see? Here's Damien Hurst back when he was good. <laughs> yes. no, okay, so so uh, so so what, wow. And where did you get this one? Do you remember? Um, I bought that in Glendale. That that's actually recent. I bought that a year ago. Wow, because um, it is looking pretty '80s. Yeah, that's looking yeah, pretty. Yeah, but 80s. I think that was an art student. Yeah, that's the, that's got a little higher consciousness. And and this one kind of has yeah um, it has kind of a strange story because I was um, I was. Um, waiting for a, um, a, a gal like, to return a phone call and I got kind of frustrated waiting and, and so I um, decided to go to the thrift store to distract myself. And um, as I entered the store, I, I realized I had this epiphany that I'm not the kind of person that waits around for phone calls. And so I went over to the painting rack and this painting was there, this, this, this guy, <laughs> this guy waiting down. by the phone. Waiting yeah. by the phone. Wait, yeah, wait, yeah, the phone. yeah, yeah. There's like, isn't that a Blondie song? You got me. Wait, <laughs> it's, it's hanging on the telephone. Okay, so. The okay, so yeah. So there's all these weird kind of connections. Okay, so. I like it. I like it. And that was in Glendale. Yeah, that was in Glendale. Yeah. Okay. Last last twenty. Yeah, great, last year, great, 2015. Great. Okay, year so ago. so um, I I gotta ask you, if you what's the what's the worst painting you've ever seen? Like they just like in the wow, whole world. That was hideous. Like no, you won't. You won't. Like, <laughs> this one's hideous. Like oh, there's too, there's too many. What what what? What's a just? Can you describe? Like, would that describe a hideous so we, in painting? In our imagination. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's just that I have from the '70s that are just cliche paintings of like daisies and um, you know kids running through fields of poppies. You know. Just, oh no, but is there anything like, like gruesome or? There's yeah. there's some like. Um, are you worried? There, I'm thinking like there's this one that's I have this ballet dancer that just is that's just so depressed that it's just Ooh, it's scary it's just i don't know why it's just really disturbing, so really disturbing to see this depressed ballet dancer Ooh, yeah you don't want yeah. to put that on the grief yeah. website <laughs> so you have a museum so, museum fred you want to keep that so that people can enjoy and, yeah. and, and, and motivate I, I understand i understand that so so uh, <clears throat> I, I i used to jury I, I still do on occasion jury art shows and 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 i kind of regret now there's been some bad ones that really stayed that with stay me with over you the years that i didn't <laughs> put in the show 
like that. It's like, God, I wish I had just seen that in person because I only saw it as a slide, you know? Yeah. So um, You could so, do a Salon de Refuse and when you do a show and just put in all the paintings that you hate. I, you know, I, I, I'm always tempted, but then you feel, ah, they're paying me. I got to do a good job. I got to yeah. be a good citizen, you know? Got you're, a Boy Scouts honor. I you know? think you're losing your punk edge. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm 52. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just, yeah. No, I can, I can do an edgy show. <laughs> I got it in me. Don't worry. It's coming. <laughs> Anytime I want, I can still freak them out. <laughs> Fred Beshid, thank you for Thanks joining for us. Me, Museumoffred.com. Let's thank see you. the sketch. I told Lisa that's the only way, that's the only reason I came on the show. Is to see the, you, you, the real reason you were here yeah, was yeah, to get a sketch. Yeah. Well, here, you got I one. like, wow, that's awesome. All right, hold <laughs> it up to the camera. You started talking about creepy stuff, and then so you then It's kind like of I got a creepy yeah. portrait. You got a little creepier. Oh, it's there a, you go. There we go. Wow. All right, another episode awesome. of Modern Art Blitz. Our 52nd has come to a pass. We stream live at 5 on dronebox.com. Every Sunday, 5 p.m., we are archived at dronebox.com and modernartblitz.com. That's our website. We have a Facebook page, too. See you next week.